All right, guys, where's the truck? Okay, I'm in the garage. I have a car over here. <laughs> What's this? See that? All right, let's go back out. All right. To reverse. <laughs> What's that, six wheeler? 12 wheeler or what? All right, so you get 26 inches on in front, 30 in the back. So let's go back out. All right, so you see the sound, that's the warning sound. It, it captures that. The car on my left. All right. Hi guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna show you the Tesla Vision that Tesla replaced the ultrasonic sensors and they are now doing the external cameras to check the proximity area around your surroundings so well take a look i down uh, this update became available to me like a week ago so i'm just testing it and to me personally it's it's a hit and miss sometimes it's it's there, accurate. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's just, you know, um, not really, really accurate. So um, I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna show you the dis the distance that it measures. Um, to me, uh, I have not had any experience with the ultrasonic sensors because when I take delivery of this vehicle in December, this vehicle is the few or maybe the the uh, newest uh, Teslas that no longer comes with a USS or ultrasonic sensors. So I didn't had a experience of having the ultrasonic sensors. So I don't have um, a comparison per se, but uh, as far as having this Tesla vision where it tells you your proximity I think it's just maybe getting used to it but again it's hit and miss it's not really really accurate in my opinion having this one for a couple of days now so um, let's go inside the garage so I'm gonna take a look uh, we're gonna take a look okay so I'm gonna as you can see um, I got a I have a car over there I had a narrow space so I can squeeze in the car inside so I'm gonna go in um, this one right here it's part of the Tesla vision where it starts to uh, measure your proximity so I'm gonna move forward so it starts to and then when it becomes red that's when it tells you so it sees the car on the left it measures the body right there getting red but look at that mirror it's very close right but I don't think it will capture here because it's only reading the the body but I think also with the ultrasonic sensor because the sensors are located in the bumpers anyway so I don't think it will it's your as a, as a driver to me it's your responsibility to look at your side mirror not the sensors so that's fine to me but so let's continue on there you go and it's now reading the front the way i measure the distance is just right here in the back um back camera so it says so if i move forward a little bit it says 33 30 okay so let's go ahead and measure it All right, folks, what do you think? It measures 30 in the screen, and the closest 
object here from the bumper. Wow, isn't that impressive? Right there. Doesn't have any sensors, right? Doesn't have any sensors. And just using these cameras right there. There are three in here. Three cameras in here. And then the other camera that front facing is right there. And of course, this is the rear facing camera on each side, the front facing. And it measures 30 from the bumper to this object right here. All right, let's take a look at what it's measuring from the end to the 32 inches. So I'm guessing that's probably the, I don't know, maybe this one right here? The uh, very edge of the garage is measuring 30, 32. Let's find out. So what do you think? 